Hello, my name is David Marberger and I'm the Small Grains Extension Specialist at Oklahoma State University. And today we're going to discuss how to identify different small grains. So first, what is a small grain? Well, in order to understand what a small grain is, we need to know what, what a cereal is. A cereal is a grass crop or a grass plant that produces a grain that we use for food. And this includes crops such as corn, wheat, rice, barley, sorghum, and millets. Now our small grains are kind of, we can call them essentially like a subset of those cereals. And that is defined by a plant that overall has a small plant structure. So our small grains would not include a plant such as corn because it has a very large plant structure. So our small grains are gonna be our wheat, rye, triticale, barley, and oats and rice. And in Oklahoma, we grow almost all of those different small grains. So in Oklahoma, we grow the wheat, the rye, triticale, barley, and oats. So let's get started with wheat. Now we do have different market classes of wheat. We have hards versus softs. Hards are primarily used for making bread versus softs, which are used for making cakes, crackers, cookies, etc. We have red versus white, which describes the color of the seed. And we also have winter versus spring. Winter wheat is planted in the fall and harvested in the summer of the following year versus spring, which is planted in the spring and harvested in the late summer of the same year. And then finally, we have durum wheat, which is used for making pasta. Now in Oklahoma, we grow hard red winter wheat as well as a little bit of hard white winter wheat. So let's first take a look at a sample of hard red winter wheat. So overall, the seed shape has an has a oval appearance. It has a very large crease down the center of the seed. It has a little bit of that red color, which as when we compare it to the white, the white winter wheat here in a second, you'll be able to see that red color a little bit better here. And then finally, on the opposite end of the germ, so in the seed, the germ is that small embryo within the seed. On the opposite end, there are some small hairs. You might need a magnifying glass to see some of those small hairs. So that's hard red winter wheat. Now let's look at a sample of hard white winter wheat. Overall, the, the, the size and the shape of the hard white winter wheat is going to be very similar to our other sample. It's going to have those small hairs on the opposite end uh, from the germ. But you can see that the color of the hard white is, is a lot lighter in color. It's not white, but it's a lot lighter in color, at least compared to the hard red winter wheat. So those are, are our wheat samples. Now let's move into another small grain. We're going to talk about rye. Rye seed is very slender in its shape. It also has a little bit of a, of a crinkle type of appearance. Our, our wheat samples do, don't really have that crinkle look to it. And for rye, the color can really vary quite a bit. As you can see, here some, some colors that range from those are kind of a light brown, similar to the wheat versus very dark. But overall, rye seed will have this kind of blue hue to it. So very, very distinguishable. Next, we have triticale. Triticale is actually a cross between wheat and rye. And for the seed, it actually, the seed kind of takes on some of the characteristics from both the rye and the wheat. Overall, the triticale seed is going to have a, a pretty slender shape like the rye, as well as some of the crinkle, wrinkling type of appearance that the rye has as well. But the color of it is going to be more characteristic of, of a wheat seed. Our next small grain is barley. Now we have two different types of barley. We have two row and six row barley. And that actually describes more of the seed arrangement on the head, which we will discuss later in this video. But for now, we're gonna look at a couple seed samples from two row and six row barley. And it's actually very, it's pretty hard to, dis to distinguish between the two, but we're gonna give you a couple of characteristics that you can look for to help you identify between the two. So this here, this first one, this is an example of two row barley. And overall, bar the two row barley is gonna have seed that is very sy symmetrical 
in shape. A lot of the seeds are going to look very similar. Each end is going to be very symmetrical in shape. Now let's kind of compare that to our six row barley. Some of the six row barley seeds are going to be symmetrical, kind of like the two row barley, but you also notice some of the seeds are going to be very small in shape. And also, some of the seeds can be twisted a little bit, and we have an example of a seed right there. That has a little bit of a twist to it. And then lastly here, we have, we have oat. Oat, overall, the seed is going to be very slender in shape. It's one of the, one of the more the larger seeds of our small grains, and it has a very, very light color. One final thing I want to mention about our seeds here are comparing uh, seeds which have the hull versus, versus which of those that do not have the hull. So our barley and our oat samples have the hull still attached to the seed. The hull is the kind of the protective covering of the seed while it was growing out in the field. That was not threshed off during harvest versus our triticale, our rye, and our wheat. The hull was removed during the harvesting process and that's the, the, the chaff, the trash, that we see out in the field while we're harvesting those different small grains. So that was a little bit of some of the different characteristics between the seeds of these small grains. Now let's move into how to identify some of the different vegetative structures between these different small grain species.